I love this Wyoming January weather, but in a few weeks of snowshoeing, I'll be ready to go south in our trailer where we can start riding bikes for a couple of months. Yeah, but we got to get a few things fixed on that trailer. We'll get them fixed because okay. we'll I'm go. not as patient as you think I am. I did some research and found some wheel casters from a supplier named Renhound. There are several suppliers that offer similar products. These wheels have a housing that is two inches by three inches and the roller extends a little over two inches after being mounted to the trader frame. You don't want to mount the wheels clear to the back end of the frame. They need to be placed three or four inches forward from the rear bumper and the end of the frame. They essentially replace the rear portion of the factory installed skid bar that I removed. The trailer has 16 inch wheels and when level, the bottom of the rear bumper is about 17 inches above ground level. This is the finished installation. The, uh, notice I put a straight edge here and that the roller will hit at about the same time as the deepest part of the uh, slider would hit. This is uh, the roller is located about three and a half to three and three quarter inches ahead of the back bumper and we'll give it a try here this uh, winter and see how it works. Might have to put it back just a little bit more if, uh, if the slider hits a little bit too much and digs in. So notice that uh, there's a uh, greaser on this to uh, be able to add grease to the roller and uh, that's about it.